on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, we are going to try to play one of the first Nintendo games I ever had purchased for me. My mom bought it for me on my fifth birthday. I think it was my mom. And I could never figure out how to beat it as a kid. I don't think any of us that grew up with it did. Most of the time, we just hopped around, and when we found out we could punch Raj Roger in the face, we, we kept doing it. Case in point, I haven't done this in years, but when I was a kid, all I would do was walk around the overworld map and punch Roger in the face, and I totally whiffed that punch. There's usually a wallet in there. There's a beginner's trap right outside the office, too. And I remember getting killed by it. And instantly getting upset. And you can knock Roger. You can knock Roger everywhere. He's a tune. He doesn't feel that. He's fine. But if you grab that wallet and you're not ready, that potted plant one-shots you and you are dead. Ah. You've got to pull a fry of the 13th dodge move with the joystick. I say joystick because I'm using a different control pad. Ah, oh, damn it! I bitch. told you. Oh. And you've got animals that walk around the screen the entire time. And if you're interrogate or if you're talking to somebody, you're asking if they can help you, and you get stuck in position, an animal will wander in from off screen and literally bump Eddie Valiant to death. They will literally bump him off. He can get hit like three times, and then he gives gives the player this expression like. What the fuck? But you could save a lot of time by talking to people, and if there's anything worth a shit inside of any buildings, they'll tell you. Sometimes there'll be assholes that they won't tell you anything. Punching them in the face will not make them talk. Now that whistle right, or that siren right there, whenever that sounds, the weasels show up and they, if they catch you, they snatch up Roger and they force you to tell a joke. If you give the correct punchline, Roger lives. If you don't, they uppercut the shit out of him and, and he's dead. So, okay, so this building is empty. Now this game is heavily RNG based. Every playthrough has different item placements. Which makes speedruns a living hell. And right after saying that, the game just gives me a, a, a pivotal item. Awesome. That's cool. Now, this is satisfying. Like, when they can't help you, you just punch them in the face. I feel bad punching the ladies in the face. Because they all look like younger and older versions of Shelley Duvall. And punching them doesn't make them talk. It just... Causes them to say, no, I'm not gonna help you, but sometimes, I mean, they were gonna help you anyway, so you might as well punch them in the face, right? Thank you, sir. Anyway, Roger Rabbit was the very first movie I saw as a kid in theaters. My dad was a Marine, so we moved around a lot. And then we lived in Mississippi at the time. And I remember my family hating it. Nothing against Mississippi. They just hated the location. They, they were away from family. But... I remember the, the theater having brick walls, and then I remember everybody laughing at the the cameos, and kids were laughing, adults were laughing. It, it was like when Roger Rabbit was watching the Goofy cartoon, and everybody's like, just roaring. And then Judge Doom shows up, and then all of us pissed our pants. That's good when you have Benny the Cab, use that whistle for him. And then you can just... Ooh, that was close. Holy shit. There's palette swaps of all the animal enemies. And... 
if you run into one outside that's help, like really dead set on killing you, it one shots you unless you give it like a fishbone or a piece of cheese. And if it catches you outside of a building, you're fucked. This is actually the third, the first, uh, the third attempt at a playthrough I've done. Because I couldn't find anything but cheese. And cheese does help, like, against those rats that you just saw. Fishbone. That's what I was looking for in my second playthrough, and I couldn't find the damn thing. Now, if I can find a rose, Jessica Rabbit will tell me exactly where to find a piece of the will. <clears throat> if I find shoes, I could just go cave hunting so I don't have to do all this bullshit. And rely on the RNG to have things just fall out of thin air for me. Third attempt at a playthrough, because Windows Game Bar sucks, and I will never use it again. Holy shit. It is so good to have a new computer so I can produce new content, but this game is tedious enough as it is. Bill and Ted is worse. Bill and Ted is so much fucking worse. There's no contest. <clears throat> Bill and Ted may be... The one of the worst, if not the worst, video game I've ever played in my life. I actually played a little bit of the, uh, a bit of this on screen in my Bill and Ted review, and that childhood frustration was real. You can only play this game so long as a kid. I don't care how much you love Roger Rabbit, you'll tune out. And I don't mean that, like, T-O-O-N, like a pun. I mean, it. you'll just tune out of the fucking thing. And David Wise makes all the soundtracks for LJN games. And it is so monotonous here. It's not his fault, though, because it, it's the mechanics. It's the, the fact that you go in and out of rooms and it repeats shit. I mean, it's a great rendition of the movie soundtrack, though. I gotta give it that, but... I don't like getting sick of it. Okay, they said try searching this building. So now that I'm probably thinking they mean something in the trash can. War of the Mouse Hole. I mean, if I find, like, meat, cheese... I mean, it sounds disgusting. Eddie's putting soggy meat and cheese and fish bones <clears throat> in his pocket. Yep, more fish bones. That's what it was. So now I'm gonna find a bunch of fish bones and no cheese. Now, I appreciate fish bones. It's one of the best ska bands of all time, if not the... I didn't, I didn't pause for a reaction. I was trying to take a sip of coffee, I promise. Do I have a crowbar? I do have a crowbar. So Eddie being a detective, just in plain sight, breaks into buildings. Roger's just standing in the way like a dumbass. And you can, as you see, miss that this building is empty. God, wow. <sighs> Amazing. You go through all that trouble of breaking in somewhere and there's nothing in it. I feel like a crackhead. This game is mind-numbing, too. I mean, no wonder I'm so warped if I played this at the age of five on my fifth birthday for hours on end. I mean, the, my parents must have been sick of this fucking music. Nobody should be sick of Roger Rabbit. I mean, the character itself, when you grow up, the character itself is annoying as shit. He does nothing of note. And this isn't like, this is like uh, early versions of breaking a lockpick and Fallout. Asshole! Asshole! 
How about you, olive oil? Is there anything in here that I need? Uh, that's fantastic. You know, go figure. At least in my first and second playthrough, the buildings I broke into had at least 24 pieces of cheese. All the grilled cheeses I could have mustered. Actually, it doesn't look like cheese. It looks like a flattened paper sack. I've already got dynamite, thank you very much. You only need dynamite once. You can't use it as a weapon. There's a brick wall that you may have seen. You blow that up so you can go to Toontown. I don't know why Toontown is walled off. That's racist. All right. So there's usually a cat out here that holds something. Hopefully it's something good. Maybe it's a piece of the will. Eat it. There's nothing. Wow, what the fuck? Ooh. I'm at What the fuck? I took a Son sip of, of coffee bitch. and Roger gets picked up by a sure. How does that kill me? Is Eddie so shocked that it Eddie was so stunned it happened he had a heart attack? You gotta have a heart before you can have an attack. I couldn't believe that Bob Hoskins was cockney as fuck. Pulled off the perfect L.A. detective accent. I, was, that, I thought that was so awesome. Oh, I'll watch it be a fishbone again. How did I guess? I'm so confident in the game's ability to just fuck me right in the tailpipe that I, I can't... Okay, at least there's something else in the building. Is there anything in the cabinets? Don't mind me, sir. I'm just looting your shit. You might want to get that head injury looked at, though. Awesome! Okay, if we get... Do we have spring shoes? Tell me we got the shoes. Fuck. We get the shoes, we're good to go. I get excited because I don't want to play this game any longer than I have to. I don't hate it. It's it's am, it's ambitious. I mean, look at it. It's an open world game. And an adventure game. Awesome. Alright, cheese. Game. I'm praying to you dusty conduits of my old Nintendo that my grandfather bought for me at Roses in Abingdon. I am praying to you now. I'm not trying to be sacrilegious or evil, but I need to desperately beat this game. It would be cathartic to me, and it would be very it would be very uh, cool for the 13 people in three years that are going to watch this. So, if you please grant me all the shit I need and let's rumble this bitch! Sorry, sir. Please let there be something in the third building I broke into. Fuck! I need spring shoes! See, with spring shoes, I can bounce over the pit to talk to the snake so the snake don't eat me and I give the rattle to the snake. You know, get it? And now I can give my girlfriend Dolores my heart. Literally. Nobody talks about the fact that it's it's really sad. She's overshadowed in the movie by Jessica Rabbit. A woman that can't physically exist. I don't care what fucking Instagram shit you got. And Eddie's actual girlfriend in the movie is overshadowed. I mean, even Eddie's like clearly wanting to bang her. Eddie hits on her getting out of the shower, dude! <clears throat> I didn't mean to sound like Charlie Day, I'm sorry. Eddie hits on her getting out of the shower, dude! Fuck! They play Nightcrawlers! They play Patty Cake! I don't even think there's anything guarded by that dog. This game has so many red herrings in it. AWESOME! Alright, let's roll. 
Let's roll! All right, we are. Okay, I'm so excited. We are. I. I. am so. I'm tired of playing through this bullshit. Oh my god, you have no idea. Ah. Uh. So we start finding pieces of the will, and I've got items to where if I give my girlfriend Dolores, who nobody talks about being in this game, but she's in it. You give her your heart. You. You literally have her pick your heart up off the floor. And she tells you where the piece of the will is. There's four pieces of it. They respawn in different locations. And they respawn subsequently. So if I grab this one that's in a, a supposedly in a cave above the top tunnel, hopefully this one. It isn't. Then we just we go right back to the closest person that has information. We ask them shit too. And then they tell us where the second piece is, and so on. There's like, you can talk to Jessica, and you give her a rose. You can talk to Baby Herman. You give him a cigar. Dolores, your heart, and... Hell, you can come back to the caves and give the snake another rattle, and it'll tell you where a piece is. So we could knock two pieces out in no time as soon as I get through this Overlook Hotel maze. I don't remember right off what. Ooh, ooh, shit. The snakes are creepy. They don't really have a set motion pattern. They're sporadic. Alright, he doesn't have it. I'm not gonna waste rattles. I mean, you can clearly see if the will's there. And if you approach. If you bounce over. Oh, shit! Oh! Bitch! Eddie gets one-shotted by- I mean, it makes sense. A human being is gonna be weak to certain animals. Venomous snakes. All Roger's gonna do is crack jokes while Eddie lays there struggling to fucking breathe. I do like this area most of all, as tedious as it looks. <laughs> and right as I say that, I run into a fucking dead end. The music in this section is my favorite. It's like that and the caves. Plus, I had this and I, I, I took it down. I had to take it down because, dear God, it's awful. I was younger and not very mature and I had just got my first camera and my cousin who appears in the Bill and Ted review as a oh shit hang on. Ah! Go away! Fuck! This thing is hell bent! But my cousin appears in the Bill and Ted review as the rocket science president that makes the derpy noise. We shot footage of him testing out that voice while we were driving around. And we made a video called, I'm not gonna lie, Foster Pookie Retard at Large. And all it was was him in a shirt that was too small for him with his belly hanging out going, ah, ah, ah. I mean, we were having a good time. But I remember when I used to make Tourette's Guy videos all the time on the Tourette's Guy forums. When that site had forums. And people hated it. So I tried to riff on people's actual hatred and review quotes of it. That didn't work. So then I was I was just pretty much filming it for a laugh at the time. I didn't mean anything by it. Ooh, that, that was close. That was too. Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna beat me. I don't care how many animals there are. Damn it, it's not there either. The will can't be far. But anyway, we filmed that video and, and we used this song in the background and, and something about him walking around on my dad's farm with his belly hanging out 
and letting the horse lick him and then the horse bites his head and he's, he stays in character. The horse bites his bald head and he's like, oh, 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 sh oh shit. And I broke character and it's not politically correct in the least, but I mean, it was, we had good times. I meant nothing by it. I'm being an idiot. But that video, beyond little snippets, that video will never see the light of day. Unless one of the hundred people that saw it saved it for God knows whatever reason. It really sucks trying to play this game mapless. Because I don't remember what caves I've been to and which ones I haven't. <clears throat> I love the fact that I could actually hear the whole damn song without having to have it repeat a bunch of times on me. But I've usually found one piece of the will by now, and this is driving me insane. And the open nature of the map makes it to where I keep getting chased by shit, and it makes it intense. So it's kind of cool. I'll let that be it. Please let me not have been here. I'm gonna test something out. Okay. The flashlight is useless if you know where to jump. But I haven't found a cave where I need to jump yet. Remember these, remembering these damn things by heart. I, I figure I've been here. Oh, hell no, I haven't been here. Awesome. Thank you. Incredible. His tail doesn't work, but his bite does, and he'll fuck you up if you do not give him a rattle. And sometimes when you drop the item and they approach you and they actually bump you, they one-shot you. Can you help me? Alright, so he's talking about this cave. Cool! I'm gonna do it again, and he'll tell me where the second piece is. Don't let me fall! Probably gotta give him... Yeah, I gotta give him another rattle. Dude, I just gave you one! You fucking junkie! Okie dokie. So now we need a detonator so he can blow up the wall to Toontown and end racism. We'll have David Hasselhoff sing a song and everything. But I'm happy because we found a fucking piece of the will. Awesome for us. We find that de- oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Juke! I spoke too soon. This is intense. That is some resident- that is some prototype. Resident Evil Mr. X shit with a touch of Grand Theft Auto police work. Oh shit. Oh shit! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I snorted like Dark Side Phil. Oh, I don't even care if I died. I just realized I couldn't go through the tunnel on foot and I just. Oh, please let him be coming through the other way. Okay. I'm a scat man! Oh, I can't do it. Do you know the real scat man had a stuttering issue? And that was his way of coping? And he made money with it? We should all aspire to be scat. No. Yes. No, the guy. Not, not, no, it's gotta be your bull. Okay, go oh shit. We've actually gotten fairly lucky. My first playthrough, he was all I ran into. Now I can either charge up the punch, or I can tap A and B to give it a slight delay to where I don't lose momentum or strength, and you can keep walloping on people like this. So if you're worried that it's going to take me hours to beat Judge Doom... Oh man, I got this. 
I think. I've not tried it yet. So we got dynamite. We get a detonator. This game's good as beat. Ah, I just want to see if I can do it. Ah! Ah! Come on! Oh, damn it! Oh, dude! Ah! That was cool! Okay, this game's not so bad. Or right, why do you want to work in a bank? Well, I'm told there's money in it. Tee hee hee ho ho ho. A chortle. Shouldn't they be dead then? Can I keep telling jokes so they don't chase me all over the fucking place? Man needs a detonator. I need to commit an act of terrorism so that I may end tune racism for all and save the tunes! My whole room echoed when I did that, and I'm so glad there was nobody outside. So with a rose, we could talk to Jessica, but we really don't need to right now. Because I desperately need that fucking detonator. And this game is starting to numb my fucking brain. I'm fairly certain... It might have been a past playthrough. I'm fairly certain that I saw... Saw the detonator guarded by a feral rat. I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. This cat was guarding nothing. Okay, I remember that much. Ah, oh, shit, I should have waited. Probably have to fight him. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember not to search that cluster of buildings at all so I don't waste any more time. We're at 27 minutes. We're not doing bad. My goal is to try to beat this in an hour. I'm not cheating. Honestly, I mean, as bad as the password system is, there are cheats, but they're not going to help you beat it. Because the minute you get to Doom, no amount of weapons cheats are going to help you. Because the game makes you rely on that punch. Gank it up with some fishbone! I wonder if there's anything else. Shelly Duval, is there anything in this building? Thank you. You know what? Fuck Dr. Phil for what he did to Shelly Duval. That was disgusting. I don't care how much of a meme Dr. Phil is. I don't care how much ad revenue he gets YouTubers. I really don't care. He manipulated a woman that desperately needed help. And openly let her in. I mean, if you haven't seen the interview, go for it. I'm not going to post footage of it. I feel bad even directing people to it. At least watch it with Adblock if you're that curious. She was treated like shit on the set of The, Sun uh, the Shining. To the point where she probably lost about two pounds of hair. At least that's what I always read. Ah, okay. oh, detonator, please, detonator. I apologize if this is boring. I know when a lot of people aren't going to watch this one, but... I feel I owe it to myself to defeat a game that I never defeated as a kid. I'm also running into an awful lot of people that are just flat out refusing to help me. Now, my girlfriend Dolores is in that building, so I can ask her questions, find out where Pieces of the Will is. Come on, detonator. Come on, detonator. It's always, it's always the one thing that I desperately need that I can't find. Ain't that always the way? When you're looking for it, you can't find it. Kind of like weed. Where? Ruth Buzzy, is there anything in the... I was gonna punch her and I had a fishbone selected. Or whatever. What did I have? The will. I 
I know. God was gonna kill me with a pot because I punched Ruth Buzzy in the face. That is a reference that nobody is going to get. People my own age may not even... You can't make Dennis Miller references when you have 355 subscribers. I'm pretty sure the detonator is not going to be in one of these drawers. It's usually just... It's usually in plain sight. I've just got to find the building where it's guarded. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Fuck all this other stuff. I'm just going to go to different buildings until I find one with a dangerous animal outside of it. I'm going to go trolling for items. I find a lot of bricks, too. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way back down because I'm losing my mind. Losing my sight, losing my mind. Nobody is going to tell me I'm fine. Fuck. And the music is fucking driving me nuts. No, Kappa. My stuff is obviously not meant for children. Because this game will make you say fuck a bunch. You won't mean to. Alright, so I don't need to go there. I've got enough whistles. Great. I'm gonna fight this fucking piece of shit. With the Sid Vicious. He looks like Sid Vicious in a straitjacket. Which, if they put Sid in a straitjacket, he may still be with us today. Oh my god, he'd be a fucking person. If you get in a rhythm, you can just beat the living shit out of him Balrog style. I mean, I just thought Eddie Valiant was a hero towards short guys. So glad they chose Bob Hoskins for that role. They they were gonna get Bill Murray, but nobody told him. And when Bill Murray found out about it, apparently he screamed out loud in a public place like a scream of cliche anguish. But I can't imagine it. I mean, I'm sure Bill Murray would have been awesome, but Bob Hoskins was just... He was something special. Rest in peace. If you want a good gangster movie, watch The Long Good Friday. It's got one of the best endings I've ever seen. One of the best performances, too. It's even got a young brick top from Snatch in it. You have to look for him a little bit, but it, I mean, you'll notice. You'll notice him. nothing here either I'm just all right I'm a, hopefully the shop's got one maybe the shop's got one come on come on come on come on damn it ah oh, oh come on and see I have like there's items like bombs and other shit you can use but it doesn't that it Barely does any damage to this dickhead. Here's a glitch. If you punch him and talk to him, that led me to, like, I had that happen as a kid. And I seriously thought <laughs> that there was an item you could give him where he'd help you. I mean, why not, right? There's other enemies that help you. Talk about thanks for nothing, you piece of shit. Jump up here like a bitch. Remember at the end of it where Roger has a gun and that still doesn't do shit? Uh, I'm gonna waste my money on another rose. If you're still with me, 
God bless you because oh, my brain is starting to just kind of like fry and I'm, I'm hungry. I don't mean to eat and talk like Dark Side Phil. God, that's the second time I've mentioned that cockroach. No wonder he survives. Now, if Spoonie would keep doing shit and get people talking about him in a good life, maybe he'd survive too. Poor bastard. No, well, no, I mean, shit. But, you know, when you're like that, self-destructive, what are you going to do? Who am I to judge? But this is not the time for self-introspection. That comes later. That comes later. Fire rises. Maybe the detonator is in a building right in front of the brick wall. Me bricks. The bricks don't do much. They they help in fights with Psycho. You can use them against Judge Doom, but other than that, I don't know the purpose. They don't help breaking in anywhere. Either the either the game is using RNG to force. Oh, awesome! Oh, thank you. Oh, that is so cool. God, this game is creepy! It's like some kind of fucked up NES pasta. Uh. I can just, I can imagine it now. I can imagine the, the cringy, overdramatic reading of the creepy pasta now. I was five years old. It was my birthday, it was 1989. My mom got me Roger Rabbit for the regular Nintendo. I remember playing it, loving it as a kid, even though I had no idea what to do. But the game was really cryptic, and I wasn't sure where to go. And I would scream out, God, I need this, 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 and then all of a sudden it just made... Anyway! You know, a bunch of bullshit, games possessed by the spirit of a dead kid, gives him the items he needs. And then I punch the weasel in the face and talk to it. Now, you're not normally supposed to talk to weasels in the game. But this was a glitch, but this time the weasel said, My name is Anthony. I choked on a sausage. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Richard kind. I don't know. Now, Toontown is annoying as hell. The music at first is all whimsical and bright and you know, I don't mind the overworld maps music so much. It's the fucking building music. That shit. Cause you'll be in and out of a lot of places. And that's all you'll like over and over and over. Oh, this game, I cannot wait to beat the fuck out of it so I don't have to play it anymore. I love the movie. It's in, like, my top five favorite films of all time. It's up there. And I don't mean just nostalgia value, either. You can... Roger Rabbit is one of those rare films that you can enjoy on two different levels. Like, you let your kids watch it, they're gonna love it. Because, I mean, oh, holy shit, there's... Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny together for the first time, sharing the exact amount of screen time together. Which, you know what? That's a fair compromise. That really is. If they're gonna do that, that is an incredibly fair compromise. Because you'll never see that again. You will never see Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny together. You will never see Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny laughing as Eddie Valiant plummets to his death. You'll never see that again. Once in a lifetime. And the movie is timeless because hand-drawn animation is a lost art. So if we find that piece of will by Doom's Warehouse like that snake told us, 
God, that uh, sounds like some kind of acid trip. The snake told me where to find the will. And I Son of a bitch. Damn it! If he gets knocked down, he looks like Frank from It's Always Sunny. I just realized that the game's gonna force me to find a baseball. Cause that's Doom's warehouse. Did I get all the pieces of the will? What the fuck? Did you see that? that? I've never seen that. Holy shit. That threw me off. I can't concentrate. I have never seen that happen in this game. Then all of a sudden, and this never happened. The car floated off screen. And then all of a sudden, instead of the score at the top of the screen, it read, My name is Anthony. Give me my sausage. I was scared and I turned it off. By the way, my name is Anthony. And then John was a zombie. I'll tell you this though, the, the Godzilla creepypasta is awesome. It's well done. That, that video game about the empty servers though, isn't. That music, I can't stand it. Plus, every room in Toontown is stocked with things that will kill you back and forth, so you can't really search. I forgot I'm supposed to be looking for a piece of the will. Because I keep talking and I don't shut up. There's also a, a building, there's two buildings in this game called the Magic Building. If you go in there, you can duplicate any item you want. It's kind of like the W item glitch in Final Fantasy VII. But even then, that, that doesn't help you because you can only get nine of each item and Doom beats the fuck out of you. We are at 43 minutes. We'll beat it. We're gonna beat the shit out of this, I promise. I had every piece of Roger Rabbit merchandise. I had like, I had the tent. I had the read-along book where it, it chimes. And what's cool is they actually got Charles Fleischer, the voice of Roger Rabbit, to do the narration. They didn't get Eddie Valiant, but I didn't notice as much as a kid. But in the read-along book, there's a page that has a picture of the deleted scene where Eddie gets taken to Toontown and has a, a pig head painted on him. And I always wondered where that scene was in the movie. And I never knew why until they showed it on CBS. I'm pretty sure they showed it on CBS in like 1990, maybe 91. Black and white, whatever. Something about a newspaper. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, boomer. Ah! I don't date my humor at all, no sir. I don't do Guitar Hero jokes and, and date the fuck out of my... Anyway. There it is! Awesome! Now, if by chance I can remember what building Baby Herman is in, I can find out where the other piece of the will is. However, I do not remember where Baby Herman is. All I have to do is give him a cigar and he talks. That sounds fucked up. But, like, he's... I think he's here. He might be here. Thank you, you unhelpful bitch. I'm a detective. Pigs are supposed to help. Damn it. Look at that car didn't fucking crush me. Ah! What's funny is... Uh, 
Uh, dad jokes are the key to survival. That the lead weasel in the pink ensemble is named Smart Alec in any other adaptation of the, the movie. In the movie, he's named Smartass. In the game, he's named Smart Alec. Just a little factoid. I believe the other ones are called Stupid or Idiot or just either Stupid or Idiot. Oh my god! My jaw dropped. That was awesome. The game threw me a fucking bone. Thank you, game. I have one piece of the will and a baseball, and we're done with this shit. Let's go talk to Jessica. I'll try to find Baby Herman first, but... Oh, dude, that was really cool. I can't get over that I just up, suddenly just up and found the fucking well. So all I need is a baseball. There's got to be one lying around here somewhere. We could possibly beat this game in 47 minutes. I'm still in shock. So I'm saying the game is creepy. It's like, oh, okay, you know, I'll give it, I'll give it to you only after you've searched about an hour for it. Right as you reach your breaking point, I'll gaslight the fuck out of you, and I'll pretend like I'm doing you a favor. Oh, this game is abusive! Most LJN games are. This one especially, because it, it abuses David Wise's score to make it annoying as hell. <laughs> Bitch! Have you seen my baseball? Have you seen my baseball? Oh, I'm gonna shut up. The actor that played Warren in There's Something About Mary, W. Earl Brown, he's one of the best character actors there is today. And he actually responded to me on Twitter, and I thought that was really cool. I was complimenting him on his performance when he played Meatloaf, not his performance as Warren talking about his wiener. Have you seen my wiener? That's, that, I guess that's what we were going for when we did that video with my cousin Pookie. Was like, Warren. Because we were going to do a twist in Foster Pookie Retard at Large. That he wasn't actually retarded. That he was just really, really obnoxious. It was a lame way to cover our bases, but I mean, we're not going to spend a lot of time thinking about that bullshit. Doing a sequel nowadays, though? No way in hell. It's lost forever. It's lost forever like that Mashable video of Spoonie when him and Scarlet were both in it. That is a video that I will never see. I didn't get- I didn't even get to see that on the day he won that award. Let's see. Oh, 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 shit! Son of a bitch! I knew that was gonna happen, it was too late to stop it. Do I have any meat in my pocket? Oh. I'm just trying to find baby Herman so I can get a location. It's weird, he doesn't just... He wanders in. Out of nowhere, he's not in a set location. Screw up. Oh, come on. You fucking walking Nancy Sinatra reference. Did somebody just get run over or did that car get fucked up? This game does weird shit every time I play it. Okay. Baby Herman. Where are you, baby Herman? Oh, I can't do it. I sound like Pee Wee Herman. 
<laughs> I have to be standing up to do those voices. It hurts so bad. You can't... You can't do voice acting sitting down from the diaphragm. <clears throat> Ow. Do you see my baseball? Ouch. Awesome. I told you this game is fucking creepy. Fuck baby Herman. Well, we'll see if he's in here and then that's it. Because all I need is the baseball and the other piece of the will. And this game is toast. Well, if I could beat Doom's ass, we're good to go. Oh, shit. Ah! I don't know what was up with the creepy noises when I was running that thing over, but... I'm gonna go see Jessica because there's something... There's something I've always wanted to try. I haven't... I, I've never tried it. When I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to do it. That... I realize how disgusting that sounds. Um... Ah, oh, where's the exit to this place? This might be where, where Baby Herman is. It seems enough out of the way. always on the right hand side of the screen if he's anywhere. If I can find the exit to Toontown, we'll talk to Jessica, go to the Ink and Paint Club, and then we're gonna beat this bitch, and then that's gonna be the fucking end of it! For all I know, this shit's in another cave. Or it might be at... There's landmarks in the game. There's the Gag Factory, there's... Shit. There we go. <laughs> I had to freeze for a minute because that, that goofy laugh creeped me out. I didn't expect to do it like that. I feel like Max at the beginning of a goofy movie where he's turning into his dad. I'm trying to give Baby Herman a chance to pop up so I can give him a cigar. And he'll tell me where the other piece of the will is, but he's not here. It's some douchebag. Some member of, uh, Cherry Poppin' Daddy's. Big bag of voodoo daddy. Voodoo chili whitey daddy. Salami slapping patty whackers. You know, all the... All the ska revival, or the, uh, swing revival bands. I actually miss that time. You remember Rogue Trip? It's made by Single Track. It was, uh... It was twisted metal, except you had to take tourists around and stop at photo ops for points. And your opponents could blow you up and, and, and make your passenger fly out of your car so they could steal you. I always like that. That is not where I'm supposed to go. Oh, next time I'm playing with a map. We're six minutes away from an hour. We can do this. Oh, my chest hurts. Ow. <laughs> get goofy voice fucked up my Ow! Hey, come on. I know, I've probably already been here. It feels like this is the exit, though. Like, it feels like one of these leads to the fucking road. No wonder Eddie hates Toontown. Fuck the brother thing. Okay, I think this... Yeah, this is it. That snake, dude. Persistent ass creepy motherfucker. Hurry, I need to go beat up Reverend Jim! Doom is creepy. When I saw that movie in theaters, seeing as it was my first time seeing a movie on the big screen, seeing that fucker in my face, Wielding a buzzsaw? And here's what makes it worse. Being an 80s kid, I had a view, uh, a Roger Rabbit Viewmaster gift set. And it basically... See, here's Dolores. It basically spoiled the ending of the whole movie. And it had a 3D picture of Doom with red eyes and that buzzsaw 
right in your fucking face. And nobody talks about the fact that Eddie's girlfriend is in this game, and it makes me sad. Alright, baby doll. Fuck Jessica. I'm gonna get your help. The cave around LA. That, okay. Shit. Make sure I got everything. Spring shoes. Tell me I got a rattle. Tell me I got a rattle. Okay, a rattle. Spring shoes and a rattle. That's all we need. Alright, let's rock! But first. First, I want to try something. Ah! How do you make it? How do you make a cold leg? Uh. Ah! Son of a bitch! I'm gonna go talk to Roger's wife. A deviant art princess herself. No. no. That'd probably be Amy Rose, wouldn't it? You fuckers. I can't look up video game pictures for reviews without some fucker. You can't go on Google search because they're all deviant art searches. And like, if, even if mature search is on, doesn't matter. Because it doesn't register as porn to most people. Good for you, whatever. But I mean, shit, it throws me off. Oh, wow. If you have the password, you don't even have to talk to him. Cool. Hey, baby. I like how they've got the crow playing the piano. Like, there's a lot of race allegory in Roger Rabbit. It's not heavy-handed, but it's there. The fact that the crows from Dumbo are her backing band, considering that blacks could play in clubs, but they weren't allowed in them because... What the fuck? Anyway. Cave around LA. But there's a reason I'm here. I found this secret as a kid just by fucking around. Now, being a obvious fan of the angry video game nerd, I've seen him call that number and I know what it is now. I know it's a sex line. But I'm gonna call it now and I'm gonna see what it is. God, can you believe that review was fucking, what, 14 years ago? You have dialed a number that is not available from her calling area. What? Wait a minute. There's no way. That's lame. That's lame. Let's try one more time. Oh, that's such a fucking buzzkill. You have dialed a number that is not available from your calling area. Ah, son, son of a, a bitch. bitch! Oh, dude. I cannot lose now. No way. Okay, time to focus. No more bullshit. Let's go to the cave. Let's get the will. Let's beat this fucker. Because I got to go to work in a few hours. Oh, I got a life to live. I never want to play this shit again. I don't remember where the caves are around here. Oh, I know they're on the outskirts, but I don't remember how many caves are in L.A. So close right there, I almost had him die. Ah! Oh, bitch! Ah, uh, that shocked me. That honestly shocked me. This game is just really fucking. And I promise I'm doing live recording of my commentary. As I'm playing it. God, this is a creepy pasta game. What the fuck? I remember the weasels are really persistent in the game, but they usually walk right after your character. This time they just kind of stopped and stared at me. 
they would chip. Fuck it. That joke's dead. Please let it be in here. Yeah, baby! Sorry. Awesome! Just in case, though, I'm not chancing anything. I can jump over that without a flashlight, but we're gonna need all the shit we can get for Doom. I cannot die to Doom. We gotta be heroes. Alright, alright. Alright, baby, we got all the will! Let's win this! Even the snake! Even the snake says do it! Alright. I'm getting to whip your ass, Dad, from Suburban Commando. I was frozen today! I could do that a lot better standing up. That's what she said. Uh, sorry, I'm in a good mood, because we're getting ready to beat this. We're a little over an hour. It's an hour and one minute. And I'm hoping Doom doesn't destroy us before we can, before we can do this. Oh, intense. Get out of my way. I don't even care about your jokes. Where do you find wild boar? Depends on where you leave them. <laughs> oh, let's do this. I'm actually very excited. Get out my way, fool. Don't you know I'm Eddie fucking V? God bless Bob Hoskins, man. I'm going to go as Eddie Valiant this Halloween. I might have a Roger Rabbit doll stuffed in my trench coat. That's what I think I'm going to do. I can pull it off. I'm only 5'7". I'm stout. I, I'm okay in a fight. Alright, there we go. I wasn't sure if they were coming or not yet. I mean, Bob Hoskins is a fantastic actor, and when I heard he died, it broke my heart. Because to this day, if I, if I listen to the Valiant and Valiant score from the movie, when he's looking at the pictures and he starts crying, it reminds me of when I look at old pictures and I, I have happy tears, but you, you miss those times. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it! Son of a bitch! If you did... I mean, I know it was his hair and his nose, but when he's laying there with his mouth open, it looks like they punched him so hard that a tune started actually bleeding. That's kind of creepy. You know what else is creepy? Is it at the end of Roger Rabbit, when Doom dies? I mean, beyond the point, you know, the fact that Judge Doom is one of the creepiest villains of all time. Regard, you know, kids film or not, which Roger Rabbit really isn't one, but... Doom, when he dies, he's all melted and he's got his mask over what used to be his body and the tunes are like, oh, I'll tell you, he wasn't a rabbit or a pussy or any of that other stuff. These tunes are start singing and celebrating over a corpse. That's pretty fucking freaky. Bugs Bunny is a sociopath. To a lesser extent, Mickey maybe is too. We know he's at least a narcissist. I'm not even talking about the South Park version. Oh! Excited! Oh, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Ah! The game did it again. The game gave me exactly what I needed. I didn't even have to select it. The game wants me to beat it. Thank you, game. Alright, here we go! Wish me ever- wish, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'm kind of scared. Doom is a force. Alright, boots go. Get it! You can do this. Because, I mean, th this boss isn't timed, but the game wants you to fist fight him. The game wants you to go up there and trade blows with him. But his move set.
his moveset makes it almost impossible. How do you feel now, you useless fuck? At least your wife helped me with information and gave me a phone sex number! <laughs> <coughs> oh. We're gonna have to do that trick. And I think the game wants you to do it. I mean... There's actually a building that's not connected to any of the main roads in Toontown. There's two of them. Called the Magic Building, where you can replenish all the items in the game that you have. Just by hitting B. But... No amount of those items... Like, if you have nine guns, nine bombs... Doom is not even going to get half of his health taken off. You have to do this. You have to wait till he backs up against the wall. He's shooting those creepy fucking nuts. He backs up against the wall. You find a rhythm and you punch the shit out of him. It's kind of like Mother 3 where you have to find a rhythm to the music while fighting somebody. But I'll tell you this. It's exhausting. Ugh, you could get Roger Rabbit thumb, and that sounds like some kind of fucked up venereal or fucked up affliction. Oh, I can't even focus. I have to, though. Get against the wall. Get against the wall! You bitch! You couldn't handle the smoke. You don't want the smoke. Tried to handle this peacefully, no need to be violent, but you just had to fuck with Eddie Valiant! I know that's ridiculous. Ah, I can't keep that up. Oh my god. Uh, get against the wall! Yeah, bitch, 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 this is for my childhood, you fucker! Die, die, die! Die, do it! You fuck! I'm finally doing it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I lost my strength. That was incredible! Oh my god, I'm gonna do that! Let's do that again! <laughs> I don't want to get cocky, though. That's how I die. The game gives me what I want, but the game also taketh away! Get against the wall. Get against the wall! Get against the wall! Pretend you're Beecher from the HBO series Oz and get against the wall! Now, if he hits you like that, you don't lose your strength, which is, it's a bug. I guess it's because of this, like, the long knockback of it or something. It doesn't register, so you don't lose any strength at all. But you get stuck in place. Ah, God, get against the wall, come on. Now, if you, if you do it, like, blow for blow, and you don't get him stuck in that sweet spot, ow. Here's the thing, it doesn't only work your hands. It's the fucking bone. It, oh, my God. Oh, come on. I, I, I hated to lose my strength just by hitting him once, but I had to. I have to get that... Oh, I could have kept going, but you lose. I mean, you physically hurt getting that rhythm down. It's intense, I'll give it that. But playing this without doing it severely hurts. Uh, God. Boo, 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 boo! Fuck you, fuck you! I drank my fight milk, you son of a bitch! Remember me, you killed my brother! Ugh. Dude! He's on oh my god! I'm, I'm like... I shit you not. This is so cathartic. Oh, it's... It's... It's therapy! I love the way they de they've designed him. Like he actually shoots knives out of his eyes, and he's got the uh, the hammer, the the anvil fist. They did their homework. Good against the wall. Good against the wall. Die! 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 Oh, 
Oh my god, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, you gotta hold the button. Hold the button! Hold the button! Hold the button! We did it! Oh my god! That is so cool. What I... Oh, that is awesome. When I was a kid... Um... I don't even remember how I won as a kid. I think there was a Game Genie code for invincibility. I think. But, uh... No, like I said, oh my god, like, that's really cool. Well, this is Drew Dog himself. Drew... Just call me Drew. Just that one Drew guy. And that's another LJM game beaten and another game from my childhood defeated. Next up, we're gonna do King's Knight. I'm not gonna review it. It's already been done, but I'm gonna try to beat it because I never beat that piece of shit. So, I'm signing off.